right off the bat, I do dig where it's going. I like the fighting. I wouldn't say it's on par of the prequel fighting. There's still some parts where it doesn't seem right. It seems like the person is waiting for Ahsoka to stop her flip and he's already blocking versus he could be, you know, attacking at certain parts. That was the second fight with with the uh, Malak guy. But overall, I like the, the fighting. The lightsabers look cool. The actors are doing a good job. If we're talking lightsaber fights. Another belly stab. Didn't Reva survive like 16 belly stabs? <laughs> and um, maybe, you know, maybe we can explain it away a little bit later by saying the apprentice. I don't know her name. Um, blonde girl from. What is it? Blonde girl from what was that movie with Bruce Willis? Um, damn, what was that movie? The Fifth Element. Here we go. Lilu Dallas Multipass. So <laughs> blonde uh, with the apprentice. So she's an apprentice. So maybe she didn't feel like she wanted to cut her down because she was such a good fighter or something. They may explain it away later, but uh, blonde uh, multipass girl. She stabbed Sabine, not in the navel, off to the side. So it was more of a, a flesh wound, per se. Just a flesh wound. I was like, oh, shoot, are they going to I think is she going to cut her in half? You know what's going to happen? But no, they didn't go that dark. <laughs> um, but another belly stab, man, that's sad. That's sad to see. I was hoping Dave would do better. And I know he was an executive producer on Obi-Wan. And I don't know if he talked to them. Yeah, you can totally live off of a belly stab. It's completely fine. Other than that, I do like where it's going. It is a little slow, I would say, but it's very it's kind of like catching everybody up on where they, where these characters are after, you know, this is this takes place after Mandalorians, which takes place after the OT. So Rebels ends right before Rogue One, basically, I think right around there. And so this is kind of catching everybody up with the Rebels crew since since the OT ended and since Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett. And that's where the last time we saw Ahsoka, I believe. So I get it was catching everybody up. And of course, we have a MacGuffin McMuffin going on the map, the orb, which will lead to the map, which will lead to Ezra and, you know, this stuff. So we have another MacGuffin McMuffin. The fight with the robots at the very beginning was cool. Seeing Ahsoka as a, you know, smart fighter. She's, you know, knocking them out one by one. And that explosion was pretty freaking huge. I was expecting them just to blow up. I didn't expect a nuclear blast on the surface of that planet. <laughs> I guess they did want to wipe the trail clean. So having an explosion like that makes sense. And I was kind of scratching my head when that one robot was there at Sabine's apartment just to kill. Maybe he's the one that came back. It makes sense in a in a way of having a, a robot hide there so that way it could try to kill whoever goes there to try to clean up its you know, trail again. So I'm OK with it. Story wise, I'm not finding anything too crazy. Uh, I think all the actors are doing a great job. I like everyone's fitting their parts pretty well. Sabine's really cool. Ahsoka. I like it, too. She's doing some of the things that Ahsoka Ahsoka does in the cartoon. So that's cool. And yeah, we got how many episodes are there? I think there's eight episodes. Let's see. Eight. Yeah. So we got eight episodes. That means we have it for another seven weeks. So. Yeah, this is my just review coming straight out. And, you know, maybe I'm just riding high, but I'm digging it so far and I'm kind of excited to see where it goes. So that was my review. And let me know in the comments what you guys think as well.